morning, welcome. All right, so you guys can see my screen. Uh, to begin, I guess my first question is going to be, are you delivering your projects on time? And if you do, what kind of projects are they? The reason I ask this question is because we're going to look at two different methods, waterfall and agile. Depending on your industry, you may use Zoho projects or you may use Zoho sprints. And the goal ultimately is nothing's ever perfect. We're never going to deliver everything 100% on time. But the goal is to actually keep track of that, see what we're doing as a mistake, and improve on it. So let's go ahead and start with Zoho projects. I'll go over an overview a bit to show you Zoho projects and some of the new features and things we can do with it. But also my favorite part of it is the integration with CRM. So like we said, if we're working with people, we have a lot of time. One thing I hate the most is having multiple tabs open. So we'll also look into how we can use the CRM, still interact with our customers, but still working with our projects and keeping track of those projects from the CRM as well. So for those who have never used the whole projects, this is the, your home screen when you sign in. You get a bit of an overview of everything going on for all your projects, not just one. So if I keep scrolling down, I have bugs that have been reported, my milestones, timesheets, just some data giving me an overview of every single project in my account and what actually is going on. Then we have our feed, and for once it's not a social media feed, it's a work feed. So here I can see everything that's happening again with all my projects, but I'm just being given di different updates. So we have Helen here, every time she does, whether it's a task that she, was, she closed, or a file that was uploaded, this feed allows you to actually see what's going on. But for those of us who are being late in delivering our projects, now we can also grant our customers access to projects. And the good thing is we're not paying a dime to give them that access. So we can grant them a project access as a portal. They can see how you're performing. So if you're slacking up, now your customers can actually come back and say, hey, you're screwing up. Because now they can actually see the project, they can see the feed and see what's happening. Now we have, of course, all our different projects. Now depending on your industry, how you set up, you can group your projects in different ways, whether it's by the owner of the project. I tend to do it by client since I'm delivering to a client after winning that deal. So here I can see all my projects for my clients. And of course, I can see everything that's going on. So here I have one for big IRO space. If I select this account, now I have everything going on within that project. I have my statuses for the tasks that I have open. And here it kind of gives you the color coding as far as what's going on within that project. I have my overdue items, which are a lot. And if I scroll down, one of the key things people always want to see is the budget for that project. So while we're just looking at a created project, we'll be looking at how you create that budget and stay in track. Whether it's items, whether you're building a customer, we want to be able to see what's happening at all time. And of course, if we have our clients that are also seeing what's happening, that keeps us on our toes so we actually can get that done and not procrastinate like I tend to do. So on our left, we have the dashboard, of course, we just looked at. Here again, we have a feed, but this time it's more focused on the projects feed. So we're not looking at every single project at this point. Once you've selected a project, we have the dashboard of the project where you can have an overview. You have your feed, where again, we're seeing what's happening in that project. The cool thing is that once you grant a customer of yours access to the portal, they can also create new tasks. So if for those who have those clients that just cannot make up their mind, maybe you don't want to give them that access, but for other people, you are able to actually grant them and now they can see what's happening, but also make updates themselves. So a perfect case scenario is for construction companies. When they have to hire an interior designer, for example, that person now can have access to the project. You don't have to pay for a license for them. They can complete their task and they don't need to wait till the end of the day. They can access it from their mobile device and you're not paying a license for that person that you're probably hiring for a month or less. So here we have our all-time favorite, our tasks. From open, which again, I have a lot of them open here that has not been completed, and closed. And really all I'm doing is just take my tasks and I can either close them or move them around the different statuses that I have. So here we have the Kanban, so I'll just go to the classic view, that's a bit easier for me. So I have my tasks, I can see them by owner, the status of each task, date and time, due date, all that good stuff. And of course we have bugs. For those of us who work in those type of projects where we can report an issue, whether it's a pipeline issue or something with the software, when we have those projects, we can also report within that project. But let's look into a task for a quick second. All right, so here I have my task. So let's go ahead and assign this task to myself. Here, not only am I completing my task, but with the help of the mobile application of Zoho projects, you don't have to wait anymore until you get to the office and put in those hours. 
You can start a timer for a task if you wanted to and let it run until you close it. Or you can actually go in on your mobile device or on your computer and now actually put in the hours work for that task as you're finishing it so you don't have to wait for later. The more we wait, the more variables there are, the more we're going to forget something. And here we are. That project is still not being delivered on time. Now, another thing is for our tasks is dependencies. If I'm building a house, I can't you know, build a house without the foundation. So those tasks are you know, attached to each other. So in projects, you can actually create your own Gantt chart, which a lot of you are probably familiar with, where now you can set dependencies with those tasks. So one task can be completed without the successor or predecessor, depending on how you set it up. So here we have the Gantt chart. And I have it set up by my milestone Gantt. All right, so here, only two tasks, right? And you can see how those two tasks are connected. And ultimately what I'm doing is the more tasks that I create within that project, I can actually attach them to each other and set a particular dependency. At that point, I cannot close a particular task if it's attached to another task. So nobody can skip through and try to reach the other one. You're only focusing on what you've been assigned, and if you're not done, you can't go to the other one. This way, everybody's staying accountable. Nobody's moving forward or backward. You're focusing on the task at hand. So that's a bit of the advantage of using a Gantt chart and setting up your dependencies. Of course, if you go back to the reports module, there are different ones you can use. Let's say your plan versus actual. How are you actually doing? So here you can actually see that stuff. Now, we're going to go here for a quick second. And projects, if you go to your setup page, you will have two types of users. Your portal users, which would be yourself or your employees that are constantly in projects. But then you also have your client users, those contractors we've talked about. But I can also give my customers access as well. I'm going to jump to the CRM for just a second. And here I have this account. When I look at this account, I'm looking at this company. I can see the contact in that company. But I can also see the projects that are attached to that company. So this is where if you're handling the relationship with the clients, you no longer need to sit here and having to open projects here to access the project details. From the CRM, I can see my notes, the client's detail information, the contacts attached to that client. But as I scroll down a little bit further, here I can see my project. And from the CRM, if I click on it, it will open the projects tab within the CRM. Here we go. And I'm accessing now all my project data from the whole CRM. And I don't have to sit here and keep toggling between five, six different tabs. I already have two open, and it's already frustrating me. This way, everything is in here. In the CRM, I'm getting my email, my communication, my tasks and activities are all within the system. And from the CRM, I can still access the project, but also anything else as far as a record, contact details, whatever it is that I need. We're going to go back to projects once more. So we looked at the task. We have our milestones. But then we also have our timesheets. When we're closing those tasks, are we just closing a task to reach the end of the project, or will we also be building that customer? For those of you who have contractors, most likely that contractor is going to be building you, which you will be building your customers. So by granting them access to that, you can actually now have people close their task, submit their time, and you can actually approve the time, and then bill your customers. Now, there are different integrations available if you're using QuickBooks, or maybe you're using um, of course, Zoho Finance integration. This allows you to, at that point, get your task, complete them, and build your customers within one system and not have to keep going back and forth. And then we have documents. So another thing with a project is, I keep mentioning I hate having to go back and forth and opening a folder, a tab, or a new window. So if I'm working a particular project, I need a blueprint, a plan, whatever it is that I'm trying to access, instead of having it in a different page or in a different system, here, I have all that within the documents and Zoho projects. We have our users, of course, and got to have them many. But you'll notice under each user, I can also add their rate. How much are those people getting paid per hour? So in that sense, if that person is completing tasks, I don't have to do the math. I already know their hourly rate. I know how many hours they work. So when they're closing those tasks, it's calculating all that for me. And when I'm building the customer, all I really have to do is have a pretty template with my company logo and send away for them to pay. And here we have our client users. So those are all the clients that we've given access to our projects. And it's really cool because those people cannot see other projects. They can only see the project that they're paying you to complete. They can only see what they've been assigned. So if there's a particular task and you grant them that, they cannot see anything else. And then we have, of course, the finance integration, pages, forums that you can actually use, and then chat, which is really useful when we need to communicate and have everybody in one team. So this way we can actually reach out to that other person and everybody is in that one chat, and now we can actually work on that particular project. If there's a question that came up instead of that email that I can use all the time, now we can also use the chat feature within projects. 
and we have our all-time favorite calendar. Right now, everything that's going on, I can actually see that and maybe do some integrations if needed to show that calendar and other applications if I wanted to, like in Zoho Mail or Zoho Calendar to open all that. Now, there's a lot of stuff to go over, right? A lot of features, um, how do I get again chart started? This is all great, but how do I actually make it happen for myself? Aside from support, I know some people like to do things themselves. I had to learn a lot of this through videos, actually. So in Zoho Projects, when you go to your profile tab, there's a, you know, the help gifts you can actually look at. And if we go here to need help, you will find the Learning Center. And here we've been putting a lot of information in here because we actually introduced something new. So if you're familiar with workflows, it's pretty much telling the system, hey, once a lead or once a task has been created, I want an action to follow that task. Well, now in Zoho Projects, you can actually do the same thing for your, for your statuses for your task. So in here, let's pull up a GIF of the blueprint. There we go. So the Learning Center is kind of showing you how to execute those things without you having to read through manuals. I hate reading manuals. So I prefer a video or maybe a GIF to actually walk me through this process. So here is just kind of showing you how now within Zoho Projects, you also have access to blueprints where you can also automate and Zoho Project. Another way where if it's a repeated task, those tedious things that you do every single day, why do it yourself if you can have the system executed for you? Another integration is from Zoho CRM with projects where I can actually work on a deal and once I close that deal, I can create a project. So some of you are familiar with Zoho Flow or from the CRM itself, but really all I'm doing in my setup page in CRM, if we go here, there would be the developer section where I can download, integrate with all these Zoho apps in the marketplace. Once I've done that integration, that's the reason why I can go to an account now, access any of those accounts, but also see the project. But maybe if we have a deal and we're working on that deal, we have our different stages and we want that project to be created once the deal is won, which I think is usually how it goes. We talk to the customer, negotiate, convince them that we provide the good service. Once the deal is closed in one, now we have to deliver. But if you have 50 of those in a day or in a week, it would be a tedious task to open a new project every single time. So if you know your project templates, you already know the different milestones and tasks that are involved in a project, now with the help with Zoho Flow or just within the CRM itself, you can integrate the two apps and execute this automation. So once the deal is closed in one, let's see if I have any deals here. Yeah, of course, I only have one that's already closed in one. But you're familiar with that stage history here in CRM. So by pro combining the two applications together, I'll know, hey, once I reach this particular stage, now the system is going to go ahead and create that new project. And it's not just creating a project. You can specify if the deal type is a specific type, I can use a specific template for my project. So I'm not wasting time going in and redoing all of this. It's automatically being done, and I can access it. So we kind of go over, you know, in project, you have the planning aspect, the tracking, and collaborating. So the planning is always great, but we want to make sure we're keeping track of all of this and actually are delivering on that project. So this is where features like the portal, the mobile application for projects, all that kind of comes into play and helps with that process. So here we have the Gantt chart, some of the features and projects, but what I wanted to show you also is the mobile app. So you're not just opening an app and closing a task. You can actually submit your hours. You can upload a document. If you're in a construction company, like a green company that builds those um, parking garages, so now they can actually go on site and complete just the recon of that area to make sure the property is good before they can attempt to create those new garages. So here on the mobile application, every customization that you have, whatever setup you have, is reflected the same way in the mobile app, but now you can actually do that on the go and you no longer have to wait. 